Right now at 5.30, a mother searching for the truth. Standing in front of police headquarters, this Jacksonville woman says she's fighting to get answers after her son's murder. It's the only way. He has no voice. Who else is going to stand up but his mother? Yesterday marked one year since her son, Jordan Phelps, was killed in a double shooting at an apartment complex off Atlantic Boulevard. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live from the sheriff's office. And Marilyn, this wasn't her only stop this weekend to get answers for her son. It wasn't and up until a few hours ago. She was out here in front of the police memorial building, but she's been at the courthouse and near the apartments where the shooting happened. I asked her what's her plan. She said she wants all of JSO to know she's here and she wants answers. Officers went in and out of the police memorial building Monday. Is it good out here? And Hope Wilson Gilpin met them outside holding this sign. I'm here to get the detective's attention, to get anybody's attention. It's been one year since her son, Jordan Phelps, was murdered in a double shooting at an apartment complex off Atlantic Boulevard. Still no arrests or suspects in the case. Gilpin says she took the year to mourn and get herself together, but now she wants answers. And it's not just for herself. She shared stories of meeting other women over the weekend who say they're going through something similar. The woman sitting next to her is also waiting for more details on an unsolved murder of a loved one. I know the other mothers out there are going through the same thing. I'm nothing. And um, I'm, I'm going to fight for them all at this point. In 2019, there were 131 murders in the city. JSO made arrests in 52 of them, which means there's a 40% clearance rate. I mean, I'm seeing murders getting solved, but it's not my son. It's not the other ones that I see. It just doesn't add up. They need more help. Gilpin says with every new murder, it feels like her son's case gets pushed back. It's real, you know what I mean? A lot of people don't get that it's real unless it's in your family or in your face. It's why she says she found the courage to do this and to keep fighting for her son. And it looks like her plan worked out so far. She let me know while she was out here, a detective came and updated her on the case. She said they told her they do have some leads and they're gathering evidence. We're live at JSO tonight. Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station. And hopefully she'll get some answers, Marilyn. So you showed us the 2019 clearance rate. What is the clearance rate so far for this year for JSO? Well, it's been a big drop right now. It's sitting at about 29%. That's with 135 murders and arrests in 39 of them. But I want to mention that in one of the murders from 2019, JSO actually made an arrest this weekend. So though the clearance rate is significantly higher, uh, or I'm sorry, it isn't as high as last year, these officers are working to make some arrests. Thanks so much, Marilyn Parker, joining us live downtown.